Hello everyone, welcome back to Life and Hair. I've got another wig review for you today. I've been putting this on my Instagram account, life underscore and underscore hair. And it's the Parker style by John Renault. It comes in this box. It is a smart lace wig, which is very exciting because I think that there are a few companies that really do a good smart lace and John Renault is definitely amongst them. So, this is she. Look at that beautiful, rich, beautiful, rich, deep colour, perfect for the autumn and the winter season. This colour is FS6 3027, but I'll put it on the screen. From what I can see by looking at it, it's a lovely, realistic looking, medium brown base. It has no root. And then it has what looks like strips or strands of quite a reddish highlight. I've separated the um, fibres here somewhat for you to take a good look at the red part of this colour. And you can see how it is in strips rather than integrated highlights all over. It really is a beautiful thing, an exciting thing to look at. Now, let me put this box out of the way. I'd like to say that this essentially is a bob. It's um, a very modern, stylish style. It um, has got a fringe and the measurements of the fringe are 22 centimeters. Likewise at the crown it's also 22 centimeters um, and it is a chin length bob. Before I put it on let's have a look at the cap. Now here it is. It's got a left-sided mono part it goes from the lace at the front straight up into a left-sided mono part. Very smooth, incredibly realistic. The rest of the top of the cap is closed and then it's open wefted all the way around, which really makes it much cooler to wear and lighter and uh, much more comfortable and it's got the velcro um, the velcro closures at the back that give you about an inch of play if you wanted it tighter or looser. It's got some velvet ear tabs that have got little pieces of metal in. Quite soft um, to mould to your head. You can clip them together to make them closer to your head so that they give you some security with the wig. So now let's put this lovely John Renault Parker on. Now this is quite a strange thing for me because I'm I'm always always used to having the parting on this side. That's how I like it and to put my hair over to the towards the left. However, I kind of I've got my mirror here. I have to get used to this 
being the other way around. So let's just get it out of my face a little. So here she is. If you comb the top parts of the hair or the fibres back, it gives it quite a nice way of sitting and framing your face. It does tend to flop down. It's a fl face flopper. <laughs> and so it definitely needs something to keep it back. As far as permatees go, it's actually very light on permatees. There's hardly any, any permatees in this style. I can't really feel much at all. And as far as giving it a little bit more body, I think the main thing is to get these bangs out of your face. If the bangs are out of your face, everything else is possible. Now, I want to just highlight the colour. The highlights are beautifully face framing. This is a lovely Raquel Welsh trick of using the lighter colours around the face so that those lighter colours sit on the lace. Pretty convincing, I believe. Very, very realistic. So, in the description of this lovely style, on the website, I, caught it, I bought it from um, Simply Wigs online in the UK. It, it does say that these bangs or the fringe is much straighter than the rest of the style and gives way to soft beach waves. This is my left side. And this is my right side, and this is where the majority of the bangs are. It's heavier on this side than the other. It's actually darker than my bio hair, my natural bio hair, if I can actually remember what my bio hair colour is, which it's pretty much grey now, but in back in the day it was a medium brown. But this is, I would say, quite a chocolate or coffee shaded medium brown. I've noticed that uh, the longer you have this wig on, the more it moulds to your, the shape of your head and, and the fringes don't look quite so floppy or lacklustre. I mean, that's pretty realistic. The coverage is pretty good. The ear tabs go all the way down, really past the tops of my ears, I think. There's plenty of room for my ear, but the ear tab actually ends here. So the coverage is really pretty good. And then obviously my own bits of bio hair again, blend very well with this style. If I wanted to tuck it, it's most certainly very easy to tuck. I don't think, I mean actually, looking at it now, I can probably tuck quite comfortably. This is the sort of style that you can really dress up or dress down. I've chosen to wear some hoop earrings with it and quite a strong um, lip colour. In fact, the lip colour I'm wearing is again number seven and it is the colour Hot Copper. 
and I think this harmonises really nicely with the highlights, the reddish coppery highlights. You could easily wear this with a nice lip gloss. I've got some beautiful autumn uh, winter colours in, in a lip gloss. I mean, look how nicely that sits. So long as you could get this out of your face. Let's just apply a little bit of heat from my hand to it. You could easily clip it back. I'd like to try <clears throat> having everything back at the front to see what we can do. Because it's such a shame to waste this lovely lace front if we can actually utilize it to its full potential. Let's just see how that looks. Amazingly realistic. What an incredibly realistic lace front this is. I mean, I, you know, once I secured it properly and sort of, uh, you know, just kind of settled <clears throat> the fibres there, I would so happily go out like this. It's beautiful the way the highlighted pieces can, can escape from, from the updo a little bit and look so <clears throat> interesting, eye-catching, very feminine. I would be so comfortable going out like this. Just fix it so that it's a little bit more uniform. So this is Parker. Let's have a look at the back while it's up. Lovely movement, not much shine, incredibly natural. I always find the John Renault wigs such a brilliant investment. They're a little bit more expensive than some of the more affordable ones. The affordable ones are also very good but the John Renault ones they're the ones that if, if, if I wanted to wear them out during the day or if, if you know I, I wanted a little bit extra realism um, they've always delivered incredibly well. This is the sort of wig I would wear out to lunch. You could easily wear this out also to a more dressy occasion. Dinner, a date, Christmas day. I'm delighted with it, I think it's beautiful. Let's just explore this style a bit.
I hope you like it. I'm still waiting on my Juno, it has arrived. It's coming from the US. I feel that it might be arriving next week. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again soon.